Hey everybody, it's Brian Slagle from Metal Blade Records and I am going to read to you today the top 20 heavy metal fanzines of all time by my good buddy Ill Bill from the Merciless Book of Metal Lists. Brand new book that is out now. Here we go. Number 20, Uniforce from Mark Sawickus. I hope I said that right. Number 19, Ripping Headaches by Bruce Davis. Number 18, Sacraformity. Jacob Hansen. I'm guessing that's a European thing, probably. Number 17, F-E-T-U. I have no idea what that means, but it's F-E-T-U. It's a zine based out of Japan. That's all we know. But apparently it's good enough to be number 17. Number 16, Metal Frontline by Will Tarrant. Number 15, No Glam. I'm just going to put F word on there, just to be politically correct, by our old buddy, former Metal Blade employee, Marco Barbieri. Number 14, Cerebral Holocaust by Paul Zimmerman. Number, lucky number 13, Peardrop Zine, Laurent Merle. I'm guessing French, probably? I don't know, Bill, am I right or not? Uh, number 12, Metal Meltdown, Jeff Vanderkloot. Also sounds European, which there's so many great European fanzines, they need to be represented here, which is good that they are. Number 11, The Book of Armageddon. Love it, Ed Farsley. Number 10, Invisible, in, let me say that again, Invisible Force. Well, it's, might be invin Invincible Force. It's spelled very incorrectly in this book. Hey, Bill, I'm, what, I'm at you. Howie, I'm at you. Invisible Force. Brian Daniel, number nine, Ultimatum by Kim August. Number eight, great name for a fanzine, Slayer by the Metallian Guys. Number seven, The Wild Rag by Richard C. Number six, Violent Noise from Borovoy Kiergan, who you now know as the master of Bobbermouth. Number five, now we get into the big stuff, top five, and all these zines were very influential, hugely important in the early stages of it, especially the 80s metal scene. Metal Forces by Bernard Doe. Number four, Headbanger, Bob now, Bandian, who's still around here in LA doing all sorts of great stuff, he's got a really cool documentary coming out pretty soon that you can check out. Number three, Legendary Kick-Ass Monthly by Bob Muldowney. And now we have the top two. Now, I'm not sure I quite agree with these two, but I'm going to read them the way Bill has them on here. Good old ill Bill. Number two, The New Heavy Metal Review by yours truly. Now, I should be number one, don't you think? Well, I would normally say that. I w that was the first ever heavy metal fanzine, by the way, in the United States of America. Uh, but I do agree with his number one choice. Metal Mania by Ron Quintana. Ron Quintana is a great guy. That was a phenomenal fanzine. And if you didn't know, the original name for a band that also appeared on Metal Master 1 and was also in the new Heavy Metal Review, some band called Metallica. They actually took their name from Ron Quintana, who had a listing of names for his fanzine that he asked Lars to check out. And Lars said, don't take Metallica, use Metal Mania. Anyway, there you have it, the top 20 heavy metal fanzines of all time, courtesy of Ill Bill from the Merciless Book of Metal Lists. Awesome book, check it out. See you next time.